1000 KTOK and Lee Matthews in the morning. Listening to that little voice in your head? Well, unless it says break into your girlfriend's apartment and take all her stuff. Uh, Gail Harrison is an intuition expert, award-winning author, and she's written a book on how you should listen to that little voice, your intuition. Gail, why is it we don't listen to our intuition? Uh, I'll tell you, Lee, that is actually not rocket science. It's either we don't hear it, we don't trust it, or we just don't want to follow it. Our intuition, our inner voice, it, it tells us our truth. And, you know, sometimes the truth is hard to hear. We'd rather it's easier to ignore it and just, just go do what we want. It's, um, you know, our intuition helps us to see the difference between what we want and what we need. And that's simple, but it's not always easy. I think Mick Jagger says it best, you know, if there was a sound bite for our intuition, it would be, you can't always get what you want, but you get what you need. <laughs> well, you're so right about that. I mean, so many times I have ignored my little voice, hoping that my little voice was wrong. Exactly. <laughs> Haven't we all? Yeah. Haven't we all? <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, and it, it happens day to day, you know, the boss calls and says, uh, I need you to talk to you one on one, and uh, by the way, bring a box. You know, that's, that's when you're like, no, no, he just wants to, he just wants to talk about packing. That's it. Yeah. Right, right. Well, what yeah. are, what are yeah, some you of know, the. We're taught not to listen to our intuition, you know, ever since from the, from the moment we're born, born, we're taught to think more about things that are logical and things that we can see. So, you know, they don't call it the still small voice for nothing. You know, we're really taught not to pay attention to it. And before we know it, we're either ignoring it or, you know, I was really lucky because I actually always heard my intuition. My problem was, was that I just didn't trust it. I mean, some people don't hear it at all. But when you don't trust your intuition, it's really not trusting yourself. They're, they're one and the same thing. It's a painful way to live, you know. <laughs> Does your intuition gain wisdom as you gain wisdom? Um, yeah, I guess I would say it's the other way around, <laughs> that yeah. you gain wisdom, that your intuition actually is your own inner wisdom, and once you become more aware of it and trust it, then actually you're tapped into your own inner wisdom, and you definitely have a more fulfilling life and live according to your you know, your, your divine purpose. I believe we all have one. Gail uh, Harris is uh, a teacher and award-winning uh, writer as well and uh, is tuned into the intuitive process. Her books include Your Heart Knows the Answer. And I, I think you're right about that, Gail, because I look back to when I was in my 20s, and that was when I was more inclined to ignore my intuition. Now that I'm considerably older, I'm more inclined to listen to, the, to my intuition. Mm, well, I'm, I'm actually glad to hear that. Congratulations for you. <laughs> I you think. Know, you have to make it a choice. I think it has to be a, a, a conscious decision in some level or another because, as I said, there, you know, there are so many distractions, and it's so easy not to follow our intuition. So uh, that's the point that I always really try to make, that we have to – First, we have to understand why it's so, you know, why do we want to follow our intuition? You know, what's the benefit of following our intuition? And because it's so difficult, we have to really make a commitment to learn how to do it. Now, is there a difference in following your intuition and ignoring, you know, what, what is logical? How, how, is, how are the two interrelated? Oh, well, that's really a great question. You know, actually, like technology, it's, that's the very thing that cuts us off from hearing our intuition. Technology, for example, is more the domain of our intellect, mm -hmm. whereas our intuition, it's a very different kind of knowing. It's, a, it's more about, it's a knowing that guides us, it's much more personal. It's a knowing that guides us to make the right choices in our own lives so that we can have the best life and be the best person. That, that's the main distinction, if, if that answers your question. It does, yes. And can you give some examples of how you can use your intuition in daily life? Um, I could give you some personal examples for myself, but really, you know, we use our intuition all the time or a lot more than we think we do because it really is our natural way, you know. It's like every time we have a gut feeling about something and we listen to it, you know, it's when we don't listen to our intuition that we run into trouble. But, you know, for me personally, I've been actually at this for a while now. So, you know, for me, it's like, you know, should I call this person? Should I buy this book? Should I take on this project? 
I could still be hard on myself at times, and you know, when my emotions come in and 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 do that, my intuition comes right in and tells me to tell that part of myself that's doubting. You know, thank you very much. Now go sit in the corner. <laughs> and that, yeah, that's what I'm telling mine quite often. I mean, even though I, even though I'm listening to it, a lot of times I want it to shut up and leave me alone. <laughs> right, right. But you know, it again, it comes down to the knowing the difference between what we want and what we need. And it's it's a for me, you know, our, our intuition is a very personal thing. I would never tell anybody what I think their intuition should be teaching them or even that anybody should believe me today. You know, I'm here really to share my own personal experiences and what I've learned. And for me, um You know, my intuition has taught me that difference between, for example, making it happen and letting it happen. I don't know if you know what I mean by that, but, you know, we all have our goals that we want to accomplish in life, and we have to take all the necessary steps um, to accomplish them. But then once we do, we have to step back and let the universe meet us halfway. I mean, for me, it's a spiritual thing. You know, we can't rush things. We can't force the process. We have to step back and respect that things have their own time. You know that saying, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans? That's sort of like following your intuition. 